This tutorial will show you how to set up a parametric modulation analysis in SPM. A review of parametric modulation, as well as the data set we will be analyzing, can be found in the introductory video link down below. We will first create timing files that contain onsets for the gamble, the parametric value for the potential gain, and the parametric value for the potential loss for each run. In total, we will create nine regressors per subject. You can download a script to convert the timings into a format that SPM understands by going to this repository, clicking on the raw button, and right-clicking anywhere on the screen and selecting Save As. Save it to the gambles directory, then navigate to that directory with the terminal and run the script by typing bash make FSL timings gambles.sh. Once it finishes, you should see nine text files in each func directory. These represent the gain, loss, and the main regressor of gamble for each subject. If we take a look at, say, the gain parametric modulation file, you see three columns, the onset, the duration, and the parametric modulation value. Similar to the scripting section of the SPM tutorial, we will create a batch script that can be used in a for loop to analyze all of our subjects. Most of the data are already well aligned. However, the functional and anatomical data for subject 01 need to be reoriented in order for the data to be normalized appropriately. To do that from the MATLAB terminal, navigate into both the anat and func directories and unzip the files with gunzip star.gz. Then open the SPM GUI, click on the display button, and select sub01 task mixed gambles task run01 bold.nii, which is in the func directory. This subject's images are tilted forward in the pitch orientation. Let's undo this by typing 6 in the pitch field and setting the origin also at the anterior commissure, which you can find at the base of the fornix. Then apply these transformations to all of the functional images, 1, 2, and 3. Click Done. Next, open the anatomical image in the same display window and set the origin at the anterior commissure. Again, you can find this structure as a small connective tissue of white matter at the base of the fornix. Reorient the anatomical image and then the rest of the steps should run without any errors. To prepare the data for a parametric modulation analysis, we will create a pre-processing pipeline similar to the one we used for the Flanker tutorial. If you haven't already, you can go through that tutorial with the Flanker dataset, where you can find details of each pre-processing and statistical analysis step, which we won't discuss here in depth. The modules of co-registration, slice time and correction, normalization, and so on, are virtually identical. The only major difference is in the model setup, which has one condition per run, here labeled gamble. I already have this loaded as a template, which we'll use to review what the major differences are in the model setup. If we go to the fMRI model specification module, you will see the same thing about setting a directory, timing parameters, and so on. In data and design, we have the main effect of gamble, and we also have a gain parametric modulation and a loss parametric modulation. Here we set the polynomial expansion to first order, and importantly, orthogonalize modulations to no. This last step is important. The default of yes will orthogonalize all of the parametric modulators with respect to the first one, which means that it becomes extremely and artificially difficult to generate a significant result for any of the modulators besides the first one. For a detailed discussion about why this is the case, see the link to the Mumford et al. paper in the More Info box down below. At this point, normally, you would save the batch file and edit the MATLAB script to turn it into a for loop. However, an edited script has already been created here on my GitHub which you can download by clicking on raw, right-clicking anywhere on the screen, 
and selecting Save As. Remove the .txt extension and download it to your Gambles directory. If you want to take a look inside this script, type open run first level analysis job pm.m. You can see just like in the flanker study, how we have if else statements to unzip all the files. And also within the setting up of the general linear model, we load each of the text files that we've converted. And then we load each of the different parametric modulators and onsets for the main effect. To run this, type run first level analysis job pm and press enter. This will take about three, four, maybe five hours to run depending on the speed of your computer. For now, we're gonna fade out and come back when it has finished. For our group analysis, we will create two directories, one for the parametric modulation of gain and one for the parametric modulation of loss. From the MATLAB terminal, type mkdir second level gain pm and enter, and then make dir second level loss pm and press enter. Then click on specify second level from the SPM GUI. And for the directory field, select second level gain pm. Within scans, use the filter field to select only the con 0001.nii images from the first level directory for each subject. You can navigate between directories by just changing the subject number. Once you have the pattern, we're going to speed this up because it's pretty straightforward once you get the basic idea. When you've loaded all the images, press the green go button to specify the model and then estimate the model by clicking on estimate, selecting the spm.mat file we just created in the gain pm directory and pressing the green go button. When this finishes, we'll look at the results by clicking on the results button from the SPM GUI. Let's give this a name of gain PM and a contrast weight of one. Click done and specify the following parameters. No masking, a threshold p-value of 0.001 and an extent of 50. You can also view this by going to overlays, sections, going to your SPM 12 canonical directory and using the template of your choice. Notice how this parametric modulator weights most heavily on the ventral striatum, which is near the bottom of the head of the caudate. As an exercise, we're going to do the same thing for the loss parametric modulators by selecting the second level loss PM directory and just as we did before, selecting now the CON0002 images, which represent the parametric modulation of loss. We are also going to specify the model now by clicking the green go button and then estimate the model by selecting the SPM.MAD file within the second level loss PM directory. For these results, because these are the loss parametric modulators, we're going to be using a contrast weight of negative one. Click OK, click Done, and use the same parameters which again, for these purposes are ad hoc, but they should roughly give you a false positive rate of 0.05 for the clusters. And note where these parametric modulators load as well. If you compare them to the Tom et al. paper, notice how they're similar and how they're different. If you want something more similar to what they had, you could use, I believe, FSL is the package they used, or you could use another statistical approach, such as threshold-free cluster enhancement. The links to these are down below.